Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey today in Squad 51. Using downtown Los Angeles as a reference point, we travel south 21 minutes on Interstate 5 to the Los Angeles County Fire Museum, located in the town of Bellflower, where we will visit the Fire Museum. When we finish seeing the Fire Museum, we will go further south to an actual Los Angeles County Fire Station, Fire Station 127 in Carson, California, which was used to film the television program Emergency. Our main purpose for visiting the Fire Museum will be to see the equipment used in the show Emergency, along with the various firefighting techniques that were used over the years. The television show Emergency was created and produced by Jack Webb, creator and star of the TV series Dragnet. It debuted in January 1972 and ran 122 episodes until May the 28th, 1977. The main stars of the show were Randolph Mantooth, Kevin Tye, Robert Fuller, Bobby Troop, and Julie London. The Los Angeles County Fire Museum is located at 16400 Bellflower Boulevard in Bellflower and it is only open Wednesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Admissions $5, kids 12 and under are free. Take a walk with us, here we go. The 50th anniversary of the emergency TV show was held here in August of 2022. 50th anniversary, kind of sad I missed it. Yep, I was in Squad 51. As soon as you enter, the first thing that you see in the museum hits your eye, and it's a mint condition 1918 fire truck. Fire engine red. Isn't that thing beautiful? Oh my gosh, talk <laughs> about something that is amazing. That's like every, every last detail of this. It just shines. What a beauty. That thing's awesome. Look how cool that is. Look at these. Look at the axes in there. That's how they used to hold the axes. That's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? Look at a 1923 Ford Model TT. Ford Model TT, look at that bell on the top. Isn't that cool? American La France. Then they changed it a little while later and they put the axes in the back. Look. It says 60, but it's like, this is actually the engine 51. Yeah. It's the wooden ladders. This is a 1965 Crown, which is famously known as the first engine of Squad 51. You may have noticed it in the rear, it had a 60 on the back in yellow, as it was a real used fire engine number 60 from the Los Angeles County. This engine is notable in the show as it is an open top cab. I could not imagine having to go into a fire situation in an open top, let alone traveling in the weather. She's looking at all the other old fire engines. They're so cool. So the reason that we're here is because she was in an emergency episode number 10 of season number two called Dinner Date, which aired December the 2nd, 1972. 
This is so cool for me. There we go, LA County Fire Museum. Squad and Engine 51. Pointing out yeah. Tim Donnelly that played Fireman Chet Kelly. He passed away September of 2021 at the age of 77. <laughs> my colleagues. Colleagues. <laughs> I'd like to thank my fellow colleagues. This was the extent of what they rescue Squad 51 carried on their on their truck. That was it. <laughs> this is a rescue truck. And here's the actual emergency squad. They were the paramedics for the show. Randolph Mantooth and Kevin Ty. Look at that. Oh, look, on the other side, you can see Randolph Mantooth, his signature. I'll bet you Kevin Ty's on the other side here, which we'll show you in a minute. This is so cool. The two main stars signed the doors of the truck and the ambulance, as well as many of the other props on display. And they were answering all the calls. Got their GPS down there too. <laughs> the Thomas guide. <laughs> so Randy's getting that shot of their signatures. There you go. Engine 51. Emergency TV program. All the all the props. All the props are here. This is what they use to communicate back to the doctors at the hospital. <laughs> all that all that high-tech equipment's down there <laughs> look at all of the memorabilia they have look at that the emergency hats the game the comic books oh look they're in the car that was squad 51 right there <laughs> here's the photos Well, there's old gorgeous blue eyes himself. They signed these hats. And Randolph Mantooth, there's their flip phone. Roy DeSoto, paramedic. That's a nice thing. Yep. Your weapons are good. That's a, they're actual badges that they used. All kinds of fire equipment. I like this one. It's a wagon that you pulled. Well, these are very cool. They said they used to use this at display it at Disneyland. This particular fire engine. had to pump these, these arms come down and then they they would push it up and down and that's what made the pump work amazing 
We said it looked like a coffin. <laughs> but it's actually the bladder for the pump. And then and then this pump would have to be near a a river or a stream. It was purchased by Ward Kimball, who was one of the original Walt Disney animators. And then this was on display at Disneyland for a while also. This is a 1969 Chevrolet ambulance. It appeared many times in the TV series Emergency. They famously decided to wreck it so that they could get a new ambulance for the series. It has been completely restored to original. This is the ambulance uh, that was in Emergency One when they used it. Then they turned around and um, it got T-boned or got an accident on the show so that they could make room for the new ambulances where they could stand in them. That was part of the idea of it. On the glove box, they signed it. So I'll take it in there real quick. More time. All right. Oops. There you, there you go. Yeah. All right, we got, we got it. My fault. That's a heavy door. That's a, it's not a 350 Chevy. It's nothing special. Yeah, we rebuilt it. We're still having a few little troubles. We had trouble with it. It's really clean. Who are you gonna call? Oh, wrong series. <laughs> Yeah, there's a fire hydrant for you. That's a beauty. And a Harley Davidson. Look at that Harley. Yeah. Mike Stoker. Oh, oh, very cool. And Mike Norell was the captain. He signed the other side. See the other door? And he's in uh, like Pennsylvania, assisted living. But he's okay. doing okay. Yeah. He's in the picture over there on the wall. Yeah. You see that picture? Yeah. Oh. Now, what, what year were these built? What, the engine? Yeah. 73. So, it, it, was this the type that was used in 73? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Right, on a regular. We had this built in 73. Okay. I was glad. So, so, they did it to match what was actually being used. Oh, exactly. That was part of the deal. It's not a great big place, but it's got some great stuff. Overheat the radiator. You don't want to overheat the radiator. So you got a water bag. It's pretty cool. The docents are showing people engine 51. This is at the corner of Wilmington and 223rd Street. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This is where they shot Station 51. The actual location of the fire station used in the emergency TV series was Station 127, located at 2049 East 223rd Street in Carson, California. The firemen graciously gave us a tour of the station and said it was a very popular place. They also said we were the third group of people that stopped by today. So they actually have a plaque here just for the, uh, the used in the movie in the television program in 1971. Two or just ran off Mantu? Other two. 
Yeah, right, right in your actual station. Right. That's cool. The original wood panel. <laughs> oh, you even have a picture of them. So you, did Kevin Ty sign it too, or just Randolph Mantu? I think. That's cool though. It's cool. Right, cool. Right in your actual station. Right. That's cool. This is very cool. Oh yeah, the fire trucks. <laughs> That's a, uh, old, so I'm show as the the have five guys here uh, all the time. Yes. There's always five. Yeah. Every day, three times a day. Yeah, the refinery. Having to go to the refineries. I have not yet. I know there are some guys who have been here for quite a, quite a few years, and they have had to respond over there to a wow. pretty big incident. So, thankfully, I haven't yet. But <laughs> you cross your fingers. Yeah, I've got my eyes. Yeah. 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 We have a computer inside the rig that we call NBC, and NBC has a GPS on there that will tell you it maps you where you go. Just map maps you exactly. Yeah, but go here, go there. Even still, traditionally, with yeah. confirmation, you draw, you draw your map of your district. So you look at it, memorize it, study it, and you draw it by hand okay. to the best of your knowledge. And a good engineer, a good captain, or somebody who might have that machine long enough, they should know their district. They should have studied it on their own. So right in the real, in the real station. <laughs> We just got our forgery done probably a month or so ago, so that's probably all the new supplies. Of course. Wow. Yeah, it's all about happening. We never force anybody to leave. Just give them the option. They were stuck in here if you like it, you know? Yeah. Very cool. Look at all of this. It looks like Randolph Mantooth came through because I see more of his signature <laughs> in here than probably anyone. That's pretty know. cool. I try to shadow. So you guys get the money for this? Uh, we do, and it goes to our house fund. Cool. And it goes, it goes back to buying more t-shirts and to the house fund for their little extra from their little monetization. And I'm going back to the station. In that case, I would buy something. <laughs> A portion of the money that they make from the souvenirs that they have available goes back to the firehouse fund. So. If you happen to stop by, be sure to buy a t-shirt. Red lights on. I think they're getting ready to move on out. You guys got a roll? Four and it would be 25 seconds. I think they're getting ready to move out. We are getting a tour of the fire station and they got a call right as right as we were there. So the guys are getting ready to go. We get to watch them head on out. Shorts and stuff right Yeah. Me there. But he's the driver. He just... And they're moving out. Headphones on. Safety is first priority. There we go out. Gone. No more tours. If you enjoyed our vlog, 
please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.